A while ago, we looked at the 10 best games of all time according to science. And now that we do have a formula that works, we're going to use it to find the worst games of all time. I'm going to be using the same formula used in the video that determines the best games of all time, so I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to check it out if you haven't already. The only changes I made to the formula are that now a game gets points based on how bad its reviews are, and I didn't take into account the sales of each title, as I don't see how they would help us in finding the worst games of all time. Before we get started though, a quick reminder. Video games, even the ones we're going to see today, are a form of art. And as art, it's almost impossible to assign them a simple numerical value in order to judge them. We're not judging the functionality of a vacuum cleaner, but we'd probably rather do household chores than play the games on this list. Either way, you're likely to disagree with this list because I also disagree with the result. However, I think it will be very interesting to see which games the numbers judge to be the worst game of all time. Let's check it out. In 10th place we have the Lord of the Rings Gollum with 75.6 points. This game stands as the most recent release on the list and while it's based on a beloved franchise, it revolves around a character that feels out of place in the video game realm. The game has a plot that goes nowhere, extremely boring gameplay, and some ideas that really shouldn't exist in a video game in 2023. I'd say on this type of list, ending up in 10th place is worse than being first. At least the game that is first managed to be good at something. Gollum wasn't even good at being bad. Lord of the Rings Gollum was 9th among fans. In 9th place, with 78.3 points, we have Metal Gear Survive. Survive's place on the list has a lot to do with what went on behind the scenes of its development. This was the first Metal Gear game in Konami's post-Kojima era, and the company decided to turn the game from a unique espionage thriller into a generic survival game. The fact that the game itself wasn't any good didn't help, and so Metal Gear Survive finds itself pretty high on the list. Metal Gear Survive was 22nd among fans. Plunging from bad to downright terrible, Double Dragon 2 Wonder of the Dragons is 8th with 81.2 points. Wonder of the Dragons is a remake of Double Dragon 2 which managed to make a game released 22 years before it worse in every way imaginable. The gameplay barely functions, with hit detection unable to respond to the player's freedom to attack in 8 directions. My personal favorite thing about this game is that in order to get the good ending, you're not allowed to do a single special move. So if for some perverse reason you care about the plot of the game, you're forced to suffer even more while playing it. Double Dragon 2 Wonder of the Dragons was second among critics and 30th among fans. Scoring 90 points, NBA 2K21 secured 7th place. Ok, I seriously don't know how this game got here. I've played 2K21 and it was fine, it's not the best 2K but it's not the worst either. Still, it has a user score of 0.9 on Metacritic. Since this score did surprise me, I wanted to see what those complaints were. Several of them have to do with the game's microtransactions and the fact that it looks a lot like last year's title, which are legitimate problems but not enough to drop a game score to zero. On the other hand, many people had issues with the shooting which sounds more like their problem rather than a proper criticism of the game. NBA 2K21 was 6 among fans. In 6th place, with 98.4 points, we have Alone in the Dark Illumination. This game serves as a great example of how one bad idea can ruin the entire experience of a game. In Illumination, the player's enemies can only be defeated when they are exposed to light. This creates the problem of having to wait for the enemies to come to you rather than being anxious about when they will attack you. This gameplay mechanic, combined with a general lack of creativity found in other areas of the game, earned Illumination a place on the list. Alone in the Dark Illumination was 7th among critics and 13th among fans. Securing 5th place with 123.2 points is Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy Definitive Edition. First of all, this game deserves its place on the list simply because of its name. When it takes 3 business days just to say the name of a game, it should automatically lose 1 point from its final Metacritic score. Name aside, the presence of this title here is interesting. The PS2's Grand Theft Auto trilogy was remastered and had two major problems. Firstly, Rockstar pulled the original trilogy from all online stores which didn't go over well with the fans and the remasters themselves had a lot of problems with bugs, glitches and some questionable design choices. Two years later, the game has largely been fixed and the recently released mobile ports of the remasters are pretty good. Still, the early negative reviews continue to linger and so these games find themselves on this list. 
Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy Definitive Edition was 7th among fans. With 126 points, Ride to Hell Retribution is in 4th place. When I was making the list, this game was my favourite to top it. Not only does Ride to Hell manage to have gameplay that is both bad and has more bugs than a jungle, but it also has a terrible plot. Whether we're talking about its dismal voice acting, its sexist themes, or just the fact that it has absolutely nothing to offer, Retribution's plot should serve as an example for all aspiring game developers. An example of what not to do when creating a plot for a game. I find it hilarious that they expected this game to be a part of a larger franchise. Ride to Hell Retribution was 6 among critics and 12 among fans. With 135 points, Madden NFL 21 secured 3rd place. Look, I've never played any Madden game, but I don't think this game deserves the 0.3 user score it got on Metacritic. I understand that people are looking for some way to complain about certain aspects of the title, but I doubt it deserves the spot on the list. The game literally has the worst user score in the history of the platform. Madden NFL 21 was first among fans. With 148.8 points, Infestation Survivor Stories finds itself in second place. From what I understand, the game is here because of the developer's big promises that never came close to being fulfilled. Survivor Stories is a DayZ clone that does everything much worse than the aforementioned title. Even better is the fact that if you want good weapons in the game, you have to pay real money to get them. The game had no creativity, and a prime example of that is that it was originally going to be called The War Z, a seemingly desperate attempt to get fans to confuse it with Brad Pitt's then upcoming film, World War Z. Thankfully, we learned our lesson, and no other zombie game has ever fooled the public again. Infestation Survivor Stories was 8th among critics and 32nd among fans. Not that it was the desired result, but Warcraft 3 Reforged crushed its competition with 268.8 points. The game is a remake of 2002's Warcraft 3. I haven't played any Warcraft game, nor do I know what this title did wrong, but for 30,000 people to feel the need to voice their displeasure on Metacritic, I imagine it caused some kind of major disaster? I need to know what this game did. Okay, all joking aside, the main problems with this game are that it has a lot of bugs, the new servers it uses lack many of the older service features, the new game's terms of service state that Blizzard has complete control over player-created content, and of course, the promises made before Reforged release then live up to the final product. All these factors combined brewed a perfect storm that led to 30,000 people giving the game a score of 0.6 out of 10. Warcraft 3 Reforged was third among fans with a multiplier of 5.6, the second highest multiplier featured in both videos. And these were the 10 worst games of all time, according to science. For those interested in exploring further, a link to the Excel spreadsheet containing data on all 89 games featured in this experiment is available in the description. Click this video if you want to see the 10 best games of all time, according to science. See you in the next one.